Slab reinforcement details. What are the type of slabs? What are the boundary conditions we use in the slab reinforcement detailing? How do you do the detailing of reinforcement in slabs? What are the special requirements you need to consider in slab reinforcement detailing works? I am Prasad from Structural Guide. You are welcome to the Structural Guide YouTube channel. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Let's discuss type of slabs. Mainly there are two types of slabs. One way slabs, two way slabs. You can see here the two figures. This is uh, two way slabs. This is one way slab. As name imply one way slabs, load distribution is in one way. Only this way load will be distributed. So two way slab, both both in uh, both four direction there will be distribution in the load. When it is square slab square slab the distribution of the load equal to each span but there are some variations depending on the boundary conditions so if it is a four edges continuous slab if you have a every edge if you have a slab the load will be equal but if you don't have a continuous edge each side the difference will be varied that you have to consider in especially in beam designs Let's move to the slab design. Now we have different size of, size of boundary condition. This edge, this is continuous edge. The slab, two slab are interconnected and it's continuous. This edge called discontinuous edge. No continu continuation of the slab. Those are, can be considered as a restrain edge also. Or may, you may be considered as simply supported edges in certain cases. Two way slab also, the criteria is same. This is continuous edge, this is discontinuous edge. All these are can be considered as discontinuous edge, but they are not that important. Edges in this direction are the important things because the load transfer will be in this direction. Type of rebar. Mainly there are two types. The continuous edges or continuous places will provide the reinforcement and the edges or restaurant edges will provide the reinforcement. So at the continuous edge, at the you have to provide the top reinforcement. Now in this design you consider the bending moment diagram of the slab. Here you have a hogging moment and you have a sagging moment. You may have a zero or smaller bending moment at this edge. Again, this you have a sagging moment here, here. So we have a sagging moment here. So there you have to provide the bottom reinforcement like this. But you may have a certain restraint. Therefore, you need to have a top reinforcement here. So therefore, you provide the U bar, or or you may provide the L bar with adequate anchorage. Here you have a hogging moment at the support when you have the beams. You therefore you have to provide the top top reinforcement. This is the criteria. Here you have a, another bar, so you can lap reinforcement like this. You may have a con put a single bar, then you may provide a U bar like this. So you have to provide within the beam, within the slab, you have to provide separate U bar. Even you can provide this length is not adequate to bend a U bar like this. This the detailing method is same for the two way slab also. The same criteria will be applied here also. You may have to provide the reinforcement in similar manner. Let's see how the reinforcement detailing is done in practice. There are different different cases I have shown here. This is a continuous edge. You can see here top reinforcement are continuous. But this is a section is cut in the secondary direction. That's why you can see dots in the other direction that's in the primary direction but you have seen here the secondary direction anyway the detailing is same so you have to continue top top reinforcement bar you have to provide like this 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 length is depending on the span of the slab so generally you provide up to 0.3 l of the span uh, as a top reinforcement so top reinforcement from here to there 0.3 l this sometimes this may now there are requirement like uh, 100 percent you go 0.15 beyond that you may provide 0.50 percent 
Sometimes people do 0.25 you provide two of the length or you may do the uh, staggering so one one after another then you have a 0.5 length you have a hundred percent then thereafter you have you can curtail it by 50 percent if you put the one after another one short bar and long bar short bar and long bar then that can be done anyway you have to consider this at the continuous support you have to provide the top frame post one like this when when there are short span like this this you can see here this is a fairly large span length because you may have large span there with that your top frame post one may have to consider up to this point because at least equal to this point you may have then the the, the due to the restraint also this side also you may have to consider some frame post one. there is no point keeping smaller gap there so you provide the continuous bar there that's the practice and also depending on this span this whole span may be in the hoggy there may be on there there may not be a saggy moment like this this section bending moment now for example if you draw the bending moment this bending moment may be like this no saggy moment like this that can happen when this span is very large in such cases also you have to provide the continuous hogging reinforcement here you can't avoid the reinforcement or discontinue reinforcement like this in this pair those things you have to consider during the design then small spans you may put the double net sometimes based on your requirements and restrain edge what we need to do this is a complete detail but you can see here the bottom reinforcement are continue and you have put the u bar there as we discussed so the, this top bar you don't want to continue but you at the restrain edge now you have the beam here this tab is not continue so you have a restrain edge there you can provide depending on the design detailing requirement this length you may specify depending on the span and design requirement so this length you have to provide and then u bar is there so this is the restrain edge edge reinforcement rein personal detail this is continuous reinforcement detail so you have when you have a cantilever also you can provide reinforcement like this it is advisable to have a double net in cantilever reinforcement especially when you consider the durability requirement and the seismic requirements you better have to reinforcement in both threads and both directions in cantilevers with that we end today's discussion today we discuss about slab reinforcement detail what are the factors you need to consider how do you do the detailing of reinforcement what are the where you need to provide the tension reinforcement where you need to provide the hogging reinforcement etc we discussed today let's meet again for new video thank you very much